As much as you and I like being part of the crowd, like being accepted by the people around us, sometimes as disciples of Jesus, we're called to stand apart. We're called to go against the flow rather than with it. We're called to be countercultural. Not easy, is it? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome again to Fresh. For the first 36 years of my life, I lived a lie, as indeed many people do. Here's what my particular lie looked like. You're told that if you work hard enough, you can do anything you want, be anyone you want, have anything you want. Just work hard and you'll succeed. So I did. I worked incredibly hard and I ended up driving a big expensive car and living in a big expensive house. Hey, I was on the road to real success. But on the inside, and let's face it, that's where we live, it didn't satisfy me. In fact, the hollowness of it all nearly drove me to the point of suicide. But given the lie that I'd swallowed, I couldn't figure out what was wrong until a friend pointed it out, until a friend told me the truth, until a friend introduced me to Jesus. You see, that's what love does. It rejoices in the truth. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 6. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Most of the people in this world don't want to know the truth. They're much more content living out their own particular brand of lie. But those of us who love them, we shouldn't be joining them in that. We shouldn't be rejoicing in wrongdoing with them. In fact, quite the opposite. Because love rejoices in the truth. And at some point, love shares the truth. That's God's word fresh for you today. Now, following Jesus is not easy. It requires a lot of wisdom along the way and quite some courage too to be countercultural. And all of that we're meant to do in love, whatever situation or circumstance we find ourselves in. So let me encourage you to stop by at ChristianityWorks.com. Head across to the Media Lounge where you'll find literally thousands of messages on all sorts of different subjects conveniently arranged so that you can find exactly the teaching that you need for today. Again, you'll find that media lounge at ChristianityWorks.com.